Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, very unusual happenings here with what we pretty much, uh, it's not that far off, either that or it's got to be some kind of a relative uh, to, that means a relationship to uh, what we believe here, because basically it could be it because, but what we have to study and watch is it sure seems to have looked like and it kind of act very accurate because the idea going between uh, we kind of got to blow in on this to get a better view of seeing whether it's coming whether it, what its actual path has been because if I blow up on the regular screen I won't be able to point but what we're looking for is the line between Mercury and Venus and as you see there uh, it looks like below the uh, the path of Mercury's orbit and then also below Earth's orbit out in front of it and uh, and below Mercury But then again, it could be high, and we have the table upside down compared to what the the camera view is. But we've got the path of this thing, so it could be a relative of it. Uh, it's showing us what like Lovejoy showed us. So if we look at it like that on a flat table, coming by. And being where it's at right now, is where, that's exactly where it's at right now. Basically coming in above Mercury like we saw it come in. Coming up above Mercury and coming up above Venus. And now we are seeing the actual, just like we've seen Lovejoy, the tail, it does a reversal. So what it's done is reverse polarity, this comet, which is pretty heavy to, that it could be this 2012 V4. We're kind of still out on that, but it's still weighing heavily. It It's something related to it or something with it, traveling with it. And very much, as you can see here, high and above Mercury, and we saw that action. And then so it's going to zip through the orbit in between the magnetical orbits of Venus and Earth and then go back on out as you can see there okay and it's not going to get close to us or anything like that now it does have a condition 6 they have on it but it's a hell of a lot of distance okay but as you can see we're going to get earthquake activity and everything this is right from NASA JPL come down and see the condition and remember, the higher, the more likely. But it, it's still DA14 is what we're looking for in February 13th through the 16th. Okay? We only got a condition 6 on this. And you can see where it's at. And there's your, like I said, 9 is the worst. Uh, DA14, and I don't have that up here on DA14 yet. I'll pump it in, I suppose, in, on this video. But actual factual, that's what we're looking at, is this thing has done a pole reversal somewhere uh, in the relationship with the Sun it's done a pole reversal way out here it's doing it right now it's ever since we've seen this top wave of it coming in on the footage of the uh, I got the 12th here now you see so on the 11th and see on the 14th this is we're showing you on the JPL where it's at today because it's you know I can't this I'm just giving you the closest footage I can give now I can go show you some stump, stuff from the sun and see what's really impressive with this shock wave that's way over here and as you see we're getting gamma rays from something larger than the sun and we're also getting that there a tremendous wave so basically this is that comet but we, I'm not sure if it's actually the, on the JPL if it, that's the comet or if it's something that's with it but it's darn good size and then it's got a planet, more than likely uh, Saturn or Venus. I think that might be Saturn there. We don't really have a spot that could be Venus. 
this doesn't look to be Venus and we're shooting from this is a head so Venus should look large so basically it should be Venus more than likely that's doing that CME reactive flare to a CME and also the comet so now when Lovejoy came around we learned that the idea of the tail goes backwards for a while and then it'll turn around and get its head back okay and this is basically all magnetical of the sun and you can see the power and the strength of the sun with its magnetical and stuff like that now this is not this is a shockwave from something that is huger than the sun this is something that could smell like something like the supergiants alraf something that's way bigger than the sun cuz check that wave coming through space so other suns that are huger than the sun are showing off its magneticals strength and now what will that do when that wave gets to the planets earth mercury everything that we know of and check out how fast that's moving okay that's moving damn fast and that's a hell of a big wave it's like a tidal wave on earth okay like a tsunami on earth there's a tsunami of electrical energy of shock wave of weather going through space right now and that is flipping huge okay and you're getting a real good close-up at 400 of it okay it's not going to really do much more if I put it in at 99 or something like that. I can do that just for a second. We'll go 999 and hit enter and then go all the way down in the corner and you're going to still see that it's a basically a huge shock wave of energy coming through space. Okay? You can see it right there. Okay? The broad lower part of it and the upper part of it. Pop down real fast to 400. That's what we're looking at, that wave, and then we'll get down. It's like a shock wave, a tsunami. It's basically space weather tsunami right there out in space, okay? So this is all happening, and then that's all CME action off the sun here. And this is a comet, basically more than likely either this comet or something related to it, okay? Because basically that's the same trajectory of whatever relations to what we're seeing on the screen. So it's pretty heavy that it could be it. Otherwise, it's a cousin, sister, or relation to it coming through. And basically, you got the sun in there in the center. Remember that. So basically, this thing has been doing, and this is where it's at on the 14th today. So we'll have footage of that. So this is, you got to remember that this is two days behind that we're looking at. But see, we're getting sketchy real quick because they're wanting to put the movie together to see what the hell it is. So scientists can talk about this theory. And it is. It's electrical and it's a reversal. Okay. Now you're going to end up seeing its head is stuck back here in a magnetism of the sun of what holds on to Saturn, Mercury, and everything like that. So you got to remember it, of watching it to relate it to that this thing came in high on Venus and Mercury, you see? And I think if I roll this, there's Saturn should be out here somewhere. Saturn should be out somewhere here. There it is. Sa there's Saturn. So basically, if I bring Saturn over, you get kind of a relationship of the idea that it's getting to the... might be, as you see, the arc when it started getting reflected is something to do with Saturn's orbit up there when we seen that earlier CME action, okay? So I bring Saturn back around, you see how it started to do that CME reaction is more than likely tied into Saturn and Venus. As I pull this down, you'll see the somewhat alignment of Saturn and Venus. Venus is right there below Mercury. As I keep dragging down, you should be able to see that. So a huge arc that this thing is doing out in space related to it or it and then we'll eventually we'll see the head turn around when it gets wherever the heck out here will it be interesting to see when it does it now is it going to be is this going to be our signature this shock wave of whatever's coming off another magnetical of something huger than the sun out there one of the super giant suns which are some or 78 times the size of the sun and how far is their magnetical come out and we in voyager one and two and pioneer have been all showing us that the idea that the magnet magnus the magnetical, the bow shock, and you're seeing bow shock here. This is some, basically a big uh, solar weather bow shock right there. Now let me go to the telemetry that we're basically getting wild action, and I'll try to get B in here real fast. I apologize for not, I got a beautiful weather here today, so I apologize for not getting this stuff up as fast as I could. I seen the jump, and I went, still went and enjoyed my evening, you know, afternoon outside and everything, but we have just gigantic jump on 
all the ace action. So electrical phasing, cross phasing, and jumping up. So basically, we're going to get an interesting show here with this bow shock and everything that we're getting from. It's basically a bow shock, a tidal wave of electrical energy and everything like that from off of the suns that are larger super giants than the sun. Okay, and then the sun's doing its, you know, it's got to strut its stuff. It's only doing some C action, and we got a, a CM. E coronal mass ejection that was a C that came off. It's basically this one here is the latest. I'm trying to think that I think this one might be the one that we got the diagram on since it was larger. It's got the, what it's got the uh, but then the, the proton jump is what I've been basically very amazed with. I mean that's a big shock and ju that's a big jump up. So we've got all kinds and it's all electrical. This is all electrical information here. Okay. And we, so we got all kinds of action off of this, i.e. off the sun, and you can see the streaks there and everything like that on that. Uh, matter of fact, I'll even open that up. And then we'll also go up here. That's where your earthquake's going to be. And basically it's getting hammered big time here in South America right now. That triangulation of that is pretty much doing that. And there's uh, that our plasma pretty much and then this is the CME coming off it's not going to really help much more it's not going to hit earth we're lucky on that so even though it's seas are putting off pretty huge and basically you can kind of see it's all the data here uh, so space weather is really busy down here right now and then basically what it's given us is I can also take you to earthquake action and it's showing on the graphs here I can just zoom down through it okay getting a lot of action from it. Now we've seen way more blacker ink than this before, so and it's very impressive to watch that uh, basically big energy of flow of energy that we've got here on Sechi on this shot. This is just this is incredible here right here. This this is a big what I would call they call bow shock of experience of what the satellite's going through and it spears like a spear through the magnetical and escaping sun's magnetics. Well, uh, don't think that man with a satellite going out there is messing up space either, weather folks. This is just uh, this is a time in weather in space, and we're getting great views of it from these Sechi Sohos. Uh, and this is a this is energy coming off of something that's you know close to way bigger, 78 times, 38 times. This could be any one of the super giants that maybe four times the size of the sun or whatever. And we're going to be in watching this wave come around. And this is just a comet turning around. And it, it leaves with its tail because it changes. It gets direction change when it does that turn. And it's all the energy from the sun over here that's making that comet turn around. And it won't turn around its head. Its head, like up here that you'd see, it won't turn that around until over here somewhere in its trajectory. And you can basically watch it on here of its trajectory and everything like that. And it's pretty much related to this, either that or this is, is it, okay? And the sun made it do this, okay? And we're going to see footage after footage to tie it together. And we've seen this thing coming in from a long time. It's probably maybe, maybe the, basically the same comet that we've been seeing. And like I showed you before, that it's way out behind Jupiter when it came in and everything like that, doing its arc and everything like that, okay? So it's damn good size. And as you can see, that it if you go to this diagram here, at JPL and you'll see how big a arc like I'm showing you right there it's got a big old arc and it even affected with Saturn as it came around and it made Saturn even do it. It's like to see the CME that came off of Jupiter too because more than likely it affected and made a CME off a, a coronal mash of its atmosphere to a CME of activity from the Sun and also from like a comet like this when when stuff comes around it's magnetical it's shooting all the way across. This is Mercury. It should possibly be. And then what, more than likely we've got Venus cut out because they don't want us to see what's going on. on Because basically we're getting this from B across. And that was there. So basically, and only short, as you see, only three hours worth of video here from that. And we only got eight hours the other day if you watch my video. And the more than likely this was probably Venus down here doing the, the same reactive flare again over here to lower. Okay. So I believe this to be Mercury up there, and then that was the comet going over top. Big arc, big, big, many, millions of miles here. The key thing today is depth. 
and also watching the New Madrid. Okay, and the depth line there is where see here in Chile. 